and so I got offered this position and, um, and I'd always been fascinated by the Andes and of course travel travel back then was not like it is today as you're well aware I mean to, to, to get on an airplane and go to the Andes was something that most people never even dreamt of as a possibility you'd have to go via North America yeah America. no 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 they just introduced a, a service to you know the British Caledonian which went from London stopped off in Brazil and Argentina and finally made it over to Santiago but who was supervising um, well, the, 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 a, a number of the profs at London University. So, anyway, I thought at the time that, um, well, if I don't accept this, maybe I'll never see the Andes. And that was, that, that was the, the mindset back then. So I thought about it and decided, well, I'll, I'll do it. So I, I, I'll leave the advertising industry yeah, aside yeah, for a while. Yeah, I can I, always I, go back to that, it. That's right. Con contacted McCann Ericsson's and said, well, sorry, I've, I've got to do something else. So, so off to Santiago, meet up with the, the Chilean these characters, cohort. yeah. Um, very quickly try to learn enough Spanish to uh, you know, at least order, order dinner and chat to the pretty girls in Santiago and, and the drivers. Were they friendly? Yeah, as I recall. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And did you, who, did you meet any folks at, at that time who you'd now still call colleagues? Yeah, I th uh, yeah, de de definitely in Chile. Yeah, in, Ch but, in but, Chile. But, but, yeah, well, amongst the Chilean fraternity, yeah. I mean, three or four guys that um, that were I didn't work directly with, um, but were in the same office are, are still very, very old friends of mine, and um, and a couple of them very senior people. With companies or with Senahumin? With, with with both, um, and well, Pancho Camus, for instance. So when did came. you first meet Pancho? Um, that was when, just as I started, really. So okay. that was um, um, no, no, no. That, that's not true, because that, that's a little bit ahead. But I first met, I would, would have first met Pancho in 1969, and of course he became, you know, director of exploration for Cadelco for what 12 years, I think it was in total. And, and prior, all, prior to that, he worked for a company, didn't he? Because he took us to their mine on the field trip. He worked, for, Pla he worked for Placer Dome for yeah. quite a number of years and also for, for other companies yeah. too. Yeah. And so how long did this um, um, program last? Or how long was, was your sort of uh, time with the program? Yeah, well, that, that, was, that, was, that was three years. So I did, I did three, three field seasons, three, three four-month field seasons in, in Chile. And what were you focusing on? Work, work, working on the supergene super chronology and mineralogy of, of copper deposits in, uh, in the general Copiapo area, so in um, what they call the, the Norte Chico of, of, of Chile. So um, climbing down a lot, of, a lot of mine shafts, which would be a, a strict no-no these days. With a, with a local field assistant. I thought, well, if he can do it, I can do it, and we both, we both survived. So, um, so those, 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 were, those were good days. And I, I'd do all the lab work back, in, back at the university in London.